Hello and welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Jana Johnson and today we're gonna have a fun, not too long practice playing with plank. Okay, so we're gonna warm up the shoulders and the core for plank and we're gonna explore plank in different variations and different transitions we can make from plank into other asanas. So this is gonna be a fun practice. You will need one block if you have it, one yoga block, which I'm starting here in a supported hero's pose. So you can elevate your hips, come to kneeling, sitting on your block, rest your palms on your thighs, and take a moment to close your eyes and just let yourself settle in. Feel the rhythm of your breath. And even take note of what comes up for you when you hear plank, when you think about plank pose. What does that bring forth in your body, in your feelings, in your mind, in your breath? Just notice how your body responds. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open the mouth, long exhale. And then close the lips and continue your breathing through your nostrils. Blink open your eyes. Bring the arms in front of you, interlace your fingers and flip the palms away. Right away, go ahead and start to feel some space in the upper back. Let your shoulder blades slide down your body and create some space in your knuckles and your wrists. Feel your arms, the upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, your shoulders and your wrists. Just let your attention, your awareness start to link up with what's going on with your arms. Take one more full breath here. Turn the hands back around and change the cross of your fingers. So let the other thumb be on top now. Flip the palms away again. This time reach the arms overhead. Try not to turn this into a spinal extension. Try to keep your spine neutral, long. So the tailbone pressing down, top of the head reaching up. Reach up from your shoulders through your fingers. So this is a little active. Let yourself feel your body, especially around the arms, the shoulders, and breathe into the sensations that you feel. All right, bring the arms down gently. Make some shoulder shrugs, alternating the shoulders going back and forward. Just start to loosen up the whole shoulder joint. All right, now bring the arms in front of you again. We're going to bring the arms in the position for plank and downward dog, same position. You wanna feel the arms externally rotate, so the shoulders are gonna turn away from each other. And just to feel the spectrum of that movement, go in the opposite direction now, internal rotation of the shoulders, the, the palms turn down as well, but feel it from the shoulders if you can. And then externally rotate, this is what we want the upper arms, the shoulders to do. Now try to keep the rotation open in the shoulders, shoulder blades down the back, but turn your palms to face forward. This is your plank arms. We would just be in a different orientation, but same thing, feel it here. Shoulders turn out even though the forearms are turning in. Take a breath, let yourself feel the work of that. And then exhale, let the arms relax down, shrug out the shoulders, turn the neck, do what you need to do to loosen up anything that tightened up through that exploration. All right, now let's get into supported plank. So come into table pose first, move the block towards the top of the map. So starting in table pose, feeling your body in this square shape. 
So ported plank, you're more at a diagonal with your thighs. So take a step forward with your hands and then bring the shoulders back in line with your wrists. So now the hips and knees are no longer in alignment straight up and down. Now they're at a diagonal. So you can feel the core turn on, lift from the navel center, let the tailbone drop down, breathe in, breathe out. Tuck your toes under, try to keep the torso as it is, straighten out the knees, lifting them off the ground. Full plank pose, press back through your heels and keep pressing the ground away to keep your upper back broadened and lifted. Lift the navel center and feel your breath. All right, bring your knees down, untuck your toes, child's pose, balasana. Sit the hips back, keep the space in your shoulders while you walk the hands or reach the arms forward. All right, now first exploration deviation from plank pose. Let's move into supported plank first. So that diagonal in the knees, but straight arms. Tuck the toes, press through your heels as you lift your knees and keep the upper back broad. Now your gaze is gonna be just above the hands. Try not to turn the head side to side or anything. Try to keep your neck long. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift the right toes off the ground. Hold it there. Keep pressing back through the right foot even though it's hanging out in the air. Keep the navel center lifted, full breath. Lower the right toes, lift the left toes, same thing. Feel all the way 360 around your navel center, your solar plexus chakra, feel that core. Lower the left toes down, bring your knees down, untuck your toes, come to child's pose. Turn the palms over, so give your wrist a break for a couple of breaths here. Be very in tune with the feedback from your body. How do your joints feel? The elbows and the knees. When we're in straight arm and straight leg position, sometimes we have a tendency to overextend them. So be mindful to keep a little micro bend in your elbows and knees, even though the arms are strong and long, legs too. See if you can find that balance. Turn the palms over. Come into supported plank. Tuck the toes, full plank pose. Take one breath in, one breath out. Lift the right toes off the ground. Bend the right knee to right elbow. Hold it there. Lift the knee up to right shoulder. Press the ground away some more. Reach the right leg back long. Bring the toes down. Good. Inhale, lift the left toes up. Exhale, bend the knee to elbow. Inhale, lift the knee up to shoulder. Hold it. Press the leg back behind you again in the air. Bring the toes down, bring your knees down, untuck the toes, child's pose. Turn the palms over, Whew, a little more heat there. Okay, let's turn plank into wild thing. So turn the palms over, take your time, tuck the toes, come into plank pose. Hold it for a breath and feel your center, feel the long spine and really the neutrality of your body. It's in a neutral position for the most part. It's just weight bearing because you're working against gravity. Take a breath, lift your right toes off the ground. Now bend your right knee so the foot lifts up to the sky. You're gonna rotate your body so you're turning the front body to the sky. Bring the right foot down on the ground behind you. Lift the right hand up, turn your feet so that they're flat on the ground and then lift up from the front body. Lift the hips up, reach through the right arm. So feel your two hands, your two feet, breathe. Bring the right hand back down, come to plank pose. Lift the left toes off the ground, going straight to the second side. Bend the left knee, turn your body so the foot comes down behind you, lift the left hand up. Turn the feet so the feet go flat and then lift the hips. Reach through your left arm. Breathe full. Be mindful of the weight in your right hand. Try to let it spread to the fingers and out of your wrists. Turn back to bring the left hand to the mat. Plank pose. Bring your knees down. Keep the toes tucked under and sit your hips onto your feet. Spine tall, take a toe squat. Rest the palms facing up. Relax your wrists. Feel your breath. All 
All right. One more for play, play, okay? Playing with plank, that's what we're doing. So bring your hands forward, all right? Take this a little at a time. You're gonna come into your plank, take a breath. Lift the right toes off the ground. Now bring your right knee to right elbow. Start to bend your shoulders forward like chaturanga and you can play with your ekapada kundinyasana. Lifting the back toes as your weight comes forward. Press the ground away. Breathe. Chaturanga. Take your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. All right, down dog. First one, hey. All right, now come into plank, straight to the second side. Lift the left toes off the ground. Bring your left knee to left elbow. You're bringing your shoulders forward like chaturanga. The weight has to go into the hands, out of the feet. Reach through your legs. <laughs> chaturanga. All right, upward facing dog. Down dog. Come into plank pose. Bring your knees down. Untuck the toes and sit your hips back. Back to hero pose. If you want to use your block, like we did at the beginning of the class, feel free to do that. Let your spine come up tall to neutral. Bring a hand to the heart, a hand to the navel center. Feel your breath. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Turn your torso to your right. Take a twist, relax the arms down. Try to keep your spine as tall as possible as you turn behind you. Allow your breath to fill your body up from the inside. Inhale to untwist, reach your arms up. Exhale, turn to the second side, bring the arms down. Inhale, bring the arms up, turn center. Exhale, relax the arms, interlace the palms behind you. Reach the hands away from your body, lift the heart up. Open up the shoulders, breathe fully. Relax the arms, bring your spine back to neutral. Come into supported bridge. So we start by coming onto the back with the knees bent and the feet on the ground. So come onto a flat back first or without any props under you to start. Step the feet in parallel to each other and then grab your block, lift the pelvis up and slide the block under your pelvis. Make sure it's not in your back, it should be below your back, more in your butt world where the glutes are, where the sacrum is. Feel that flat bone resting on the block. Bring your arms down by your side. Allow your breath to settle and to move freely inside your body. Give thanks for your arms, your hands, your ability to hold yourself up and to explore how your body moves, operates, functions, responds, and you get to direct that path. The more and more you explore with an open heart, non-judgmentally, with kindness toward yourself, you get to see how dynamic you really are. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Bring your hands to the block, lift the pelvis up, remove the block out of the way and bring your spine and hips back down to the earth. Extend the legs and your arms. Take as much time as you desire, my friend, right here in Shavasana. Let your body rest for at least a minute and as much time as feels best for you. Feel yourself letting the movement go, letting go any ideas or expectations you had about playing with plank, letting it all be done 
and just giving thanks for the experience you had. Thank you, my friend, for sharing your practice with me. I hope to be able to practice with you again here. Please check out the next video that will be coming. There'll be one every week. Um, it's my pleasure to share this yoga journey with you. So if you enjoy the practice, give it a like, comment down below, let me know what you liked about the class, what other types of classes you would like to have with me, and subscribe to the channel. Lots of great teachers, lots of great classes and opportunities to deepen your practice. So thank you, until next time, peace.